Lost series review. After a plane crashes on a seemingly uninhabited island, the survivors have to try to, you know, stay alive and work together in spite of somewhat varying motivations and backgrounds. They find that this island is not quite like what you might expect. There are a lot of mysteries connected to it. We meet Jack, a spinal surgeon who has an eternal five o'clock shadow and serious look on his face. Claire, a young Australian woman pregnant with a basketball. Sawyer, a southern badass who enjoys giving nicknames to everyone. Kate, a young mysterious woman who likes to spend time looking out over the ocean solemnly, and many others, but I, I could spend the entire video just naming characters of the show. This is an ensemble show, very much so. There's like a dozen and a half main characters. Now how they solve this is devoting entire episodes to specific characters. And this works astonishingly well. Obviously, you're not gonna like the episodes that much that focus on characters that you're not personally that interested in, but yeah, that's, you know, always consequences to choices, so. You really do get a lot of information about all the main characters, and you really find yourself getting into the drama, and occasionally melodrama, more than occasionally melodrama, of their lives. Past and present, as this show employs a lot of flashbacks to before the whole plane crash event. It's really very much about the characters and the interplay between these characters, the psychology, and the mysteries. The mysteries this show is really for people who want to sit there with a pad and a pen and just note down every single little detail. It rewards paying close attention. You'll want to ponder every single little thing that they put in there. Because it's not just there by chance, and it's really clear that it's not just there by chance. However, the show does also, in addition to constantly providing hints, constantly provide more questions. And once you've watched a certain amount of episodes, you just it just dawns on you they're never gonna answer all of these. It's just not gonna happen. I'm not at all opposed to open questions, but I would say that it gets annoying with this show how often they they enjoy asking questions much more than supplying any answers. And at a certain point you just kind of realize they're just going to keep asking questions. Basically, just about every episode you see something, someone, or somewhere that you don't know what is and you're going to have to wonder what, yeah, what the answer is to that. The show also seems to take a perverse pleasure in just surprising the audience. They will set up something and you'll think it's a certain thing and then suddenly they'll pull the carpet out from under you and say, ha, ah, it's something completely different. This isn't that big of a deal, it just makes me wonder why they keep doing it so much. But with all that said, the mysteries are really gripping. A lot of the time, at least. The seasons vary in quality. I'd say that the first season is the best, and after that it kind of goes up and down. And the thing is, you can't really skip any, because every single season a lot happens. Although, never mind. The acting is phenomenal. I would say that Terry O'Quinn as John, a creepy professional hunter, is the very best. 
and does kind of outshine everyone else, but it's really, just, the man is just incredibly talented. Everyone in this cast is just phenomenal. I can't, I can just barely believe that a couple of these were actually just models before they got this gig. The, there are some fantasy elements and science fiction elements, and they explore some ideas and concepts. That's actually a bit of... With this show, they explore so many different... They, they go down so many different paths along the way, along the, you know, over the course of these six seasons, so that, again, at some point you just realize they're not going to be able to tie all this together. You know, early on, it's kind of alluded to that this is all going to make sense. It's, there's going to be this big mosaic that, at, you know, at the end, you're going to, you know, be standing there with the final piece of the puzzle, put it in, get up, be looking at it, and, oh, that's what it was. That's not going to happen. That's not really a spoiler. At a certain point, you just realize that's never going to be possible. They can't possibly make all this make coherent sense. And the problem is that they try. They try really hard. And we have a lot of episodes where they're just... It's so convoluted because they're trying to tie all this together and that's never going to happen. Maybe this is a good time to talk about the finale. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to say it's kind of a disappointment. Finales often are. And I wasn't expecting it to be good. It's basically kind of a cop-out and it really desperately tries to satisfy everyone. And... Yeah, it just doesn't, in some ways it almost doesn't feel necessary, and it really doesn't deliver that much closure, and that's something that I know, for example, Alias, Alias did deliver closure, you know, and that had five seasons, and that was also a J.J. Abrams show. J.J. Abrams has this really bad habit of starting something exciting and then just running off. You know, it's like he just drops a stick of dynamite in the middle of nowhere and just lights it, goes back to see, you know, ah, it explodes, and everyone's like really dazzled, ooing and eyeing because we didn't expect that, and you know, that was, that came out of nowhere, and that was really good, and then he just bows and walks off, never to return. And the thing is, the next thing he's gonna do is usually really inspired by the thing he just did. You know, he'll, like, you can see the seeds of the ideas. You know, if you look at what he went on to after Lost, you can kind of see, oh, that's where that came from. And it'll be just this, all these ideas that he left behind, and that is especially the case with Lost. He left so many interesting, admittedly interesting, ideas open here, but at the same time with the promise that it's all going to make sense, and just, and yeah, he left, you know, he left good people in charge, don't get me wrong, very, the people who clearly loved the show and knew, you know, exactly what it was about, and the tone, they got the tone right, you can't so much tell, except for maybe in storyline, quality to some extent when he left but he left and he didn't finish what he started and you can really kind of tell maybe he did have some idea of how to end it all how to tie it all up together long before he had a lot of other ideas that also made their way into this but at the end of the day it just it doesn't feel like a completely finished product when you watch the finale so that's really part of it is Part of how telling if you're going to want to invest time in the show, because it is a lot of time. It's six seasons of mostly 22-ish episodes of 40 minutes each. That's a lot of time. Obviously, watch the pilot. If you like the pilot, stick with the show at least until you feel like you're getting too confused or you really aren't that interested in the current storyline at that time. Other than that, 
admit to yourself if the ending of something is very important for your enjoyment of it. And if it is, just don't get too into this or don't go near it at all. Now, when you mention J.J. Abrams and his shows, you also have to mention, and this is again especially the case here, excellent production values. He and his team of, you know, the same people every time if he can accomplish it, still don't know quite what Greg Grunberg has on him that he keeps getting. Anyway, they are really, really good at just using whatever they have at their disposal. This was not a show with that low of a budget. You can see it more on Alias with them working with, you know, creating some... I mean, this was actually shot uh, in Hawaii. By the way, amazing locations. You know, it's just, it's it's Hawaii. You can point a camera anywhere and it'll look fantastic. And, you know, even with that, they up, you know, they go above and beyond our expectations in that. It just, it looks fantastic all the time. And the set design and the props are also excellent. Anyway, it just it filmed and edited just beautifully. And the effects, you know, the CGI and the practical effects, fantastic. It just, you know, I believe the word is very, very similitude. All over the show. Just everything looks and feels like it's really there, like it's really working. No matter what it actually is or what it's meant to look like and so on. I suppose that's about what there is to say. Yes, so hope that answered all your questions. Please rate and comment and hey if you like this video that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.